we're going to have a look at how to spot a fake Colnago frame. The first point to make is the Colnago C60 and its predecessor, the C69, are entirely made in Italy. The tubes come from Italy, they're assembled in Italy, they're painted in Italy. So if you see the, the first big clue, if you see it for sale on a Chinese uh, website at a price that's um, you know, a tenth of the, uh, the retail price, it's going to be a fake. You know, if it's too good to be true, it, it is too good to be true. It looks too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Um, there's no you know, factory in China turning these frames out where they're doing a, a, a midnight run or whatever to produce a few extras, which might be the case with certain other frames. Um, possibly. Um, if it's on eBay, it's less clear. People don't tend to sell these frames, they buy them for life and uh, so well maybe somebody's fallen the hard times and is selling their frame in a bit of a fast sale again if it looks too good to be true that should ring alarm bells um, this uh, frame is called the HQR01 it comes from a Chinese factory uh, they didn't advertise it as a Colnago C60 or even a look lookalike but it does resemble uh, the C60 and I know a lot of the uh, fake C60s you see around the place are based on this frame and with a fancy paint job it looks pretty good once you get the logos on. I've got it in the raw state here so we can see a bit more clearly what the differences are. The first thing is, although it looks like a lugged and tube construction, I'm pretty sure it's actually a monocoque construction made in the mould. Um, that's based on the fact that they have a, a limited range of sizes whereas uh, Colnago do one centimetre breaks which is easy to do if you're making a lugged construction. It's not necessarily a bad thing, it's, it's quite a good frame in its own right. But um, if you look around the, the lugs, uh, they're slightly less, maybe slightly less well defined compared to the, uh, the genuine article. Um, but a lot of the differences are detailed and especially once it's painted up it's very hard to tell those differences. Uh, and even the C60s, they, on some of the runs they tend to uh, fit in these with, uh, with filler. So it's um, not so easy. So just looking, there's, there's a lot of details that are slightly different but they're quite hard to spot. Perhaps uh, if we start at the front end, one thing you notice with these, uh, where the cables go in, on this frame uh, you'll see there's a screw here. Uh, on the Conagos they're glued in, these are screwed in. Uh, so that's one detail but if uh, it's a very small detail to spot on any adverts and if it's a built up bike you may not see that because the cable's already in place. Another difference is the headset. Most Colnagos have the Colnago headset. If there isn't a Colnago headset it's not a certain but it's, uh, it should ring alarm bells. Plus the Conago races are glued into the frame whereas these are pushed in. We haven't actually got them in place. A difference that's perhaps more important, perhaps a bit easier to spot, the actual head tube is a one and a quarter, uh, is a, uh, I think it's one and a quarter, one and a half. On the genuine Colnagos, it's one and a quarter at the bottom, so it's a smaller uh, diameter at this point. This, uh, you'll see on a lot of the frames, on the, on the most recent Colnagos, there's a kind of lug work on the fork. In fact, on the 2015 C60, it didn't have that lug work, so that's not a... Uh, a certain um, sign that it's a fake frame, but if they've painted uh, around the lug work, or oh, painted uh, the frame and they've painted it to look like it's got a, a lug on there, then that's uh, probably not a genuine article. Uh, much clearer thing, again not easy to spot when the chain sets on, Colnago have their own bottom bracket system and it's now aluminium insert, here we see it's just raw carbon, that's wrong. Um, the rest of it, the tubes look pretty good, they're the hexagonal tubes, the dimensions are right as well, um, you know, and it's all uh, bottle cages, everything like that, it's a pretty high quality frame this one really. Um, other differences, perhaps slightly easy to spot, is the rear derailleur cable, on the Colnago uh, you have a little um, uh, lug here and it's external from the bottom bracket back the derailleur cable is external, not internal. Uh, on the rear fork, uh, the, again this is something that varies depending on size, on the bigger sizes on the Colnagos you have a cut out triangle. I've not seen that on the, on the, uh, on the fake ones. Also the lugs here are aluminium on the Colnago, they're carbon on the fakes, and here 
the brake holder has a metal insert on the Colnago but it's a lot of details not easy to spot I think the bottom bracket might be the easiest the best thing to do is ask for the frame number and check with Colnago see whether it's a genuine article um, but those are some minor details uh, short of cutting the frame open and looking inside the construction um, but my suspicion is this is this is a monocoque construction on this frame so I hope that helps you with spotting whether you're buying a genuine article or not.